Hello YouTube, just a quick video. Uh, this is going to be a uh, a quick tutorial on how to make a candle from beginning to end. Uh, this came in from uh, someone I went to school with a request. Um, so uh, I'm going to waffle for a bit and then I'm going to get into it. So basically wax is um, is a nice uh, well a nice thing to work with. It doesn't seem to go off. It doesn't uh, age, it doesn't get tired if you work it um, more than once. So if you do have a to make a candle that doesn't look very nice or uh, doesn't hold its shake when it cools then you can always melt it down and make another. Uh, and you can do this multiple times to get it right or um, or just play about with different different uh, types of candles. You use ends of candles uh, as well as um, buying wax because uh, doesn't hurt. It just uh, changes the mixture slightly. That this stuff I have here is a very um, quick burning wax. It will melt readily, like a tea light, and uh, you'll go through it quite quickly. Whereas um, the wax I have in here is uh, quite a uh, quite hard to melt, so it burns really kind of like slowly. So it's like a harder wax. Uh, melts at a higher temperature. So anyway. Uh, what are we doing? So we've got um, a pot on here, uh, this is uh, one of my old Dutch oven and we've got it on a gas flame um, and what we're going to be using is uh, the double boiler method so if I uh, take this for example um, and drop it in when that water boils it's going to start warming that up but it won't it won't give you such a high temperature that it's going to cause the wax to boil and of course if the wax starts to boil you have the chance of a fire and wax when it burns is not very nice. Uh, in fact, I'll probably show you later on if I can if I can get it to burn. I'll burn a teaspoon of it and see, show you what the results are like. Anyway, so the double boiler method um, stops you from over overcooking the wax, you could say, and potentially causing a fire. Um, now I'm doing this on gas just just for for show. Um, in the previous videos I've used uh, the um, what do you call it? Uh, slow cooker because I trialled it uh, over a period of a day and I filled the whole thing up with wax and found that uh, it didn't boil <laughs> so I prefer that. It takes an hour it's 200 watts on high so if you use it for two hours you, you've used 400 watt hours uh, or 400 watts and uh, it costs you less than five pence Whereas this is going to cost you a lot more in gas, and uh, and obviously going out and getting gas bottles is quite expensive. On the other hand, it does melt a lot quicker. So I'm going to let this carry on, and as you can see, it's already starting to melt, whilst I find something to make a candle with. Now the wax is almost melted, I'm just going to turn the uh, heat down a little bit, and so don't burn my fingers. And oh, I didn't like that. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is take my wick. Uh, this is a fairly thin wick, designed for candles below two inches. I won't be using this stuff. You can compare the two. Uh, this wick is for candles above three inches. So. Uh, you can either tip some of this into a separate tray or, or jug and dip the wick or you can be uh, dangerous and just drop it in like that. Bear in mind this is going to be warm but not hot and just hold the wick like that and uh, let it settle. Um, I've been told I've got asbestos fingers but um, I think it doesn't hurt to do this or you can use a couple of pegs, uh, hold it with the pegs either in tweezers, pliers, you name it. Just let it solidify and it should give it some rigidity. Oh, that's a big word for this time of the evening. Uh, there we go. It's still a little bit soft. You can dip this multiple times to give it some strength if you want. I think that's what we do this time. And of course they used to uh, dip the dip the wicks 
to make the kennels. Uh, so they do this every so often. Uh, lots of waffle. Okay, so I think I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to use this uh, washer as a sustainer. So I'm just going to drop that in once more. Just the end. Oh, where's he cocked it up? Okay, that is that is through, but it's not going to hold, so I'm just going to, just going to dip the bottom in. There we go. The wax will hold that in place. So now it's got some strength strength to it. I'm just going to drop that in. This, which is a miniature bucket, uh, good for little candles, got these cheap from a, uh, a hobby store, I don't know what you can do with these other than put candles in them but uh, 50 pence each on clearance isn't that bad so anyway the heat should melt that last little bit of wax in there and, you, and there's a lot of dirt and dust in there but I'm not going to worry about that at the moment So next thing is to try and find something to um, hold the wick up. So a peg's good, a pair of chopsticks is good. Um, I haven't got anything to hand to be honest. So I may have to um, go and find a peg. I'll be back. Right, so I found something better. I'm going to use this strip of brass connectors. Um, to hold the wick steady. It's got a slight kink at the bottom. Uh, you can play about that with that and get uh, get that out. And um, the next stage is to pour the wax. So I'm going to use uh, this Pyrex jug. It might be advisable to warm this up uh, in in hot water, or even use this as a a device to melt your wax in. It may take a little longer but that works as well. So you want to, ideally you want to um, avoid doing this indoors. It is quite messy. You want to do this out of the way where you're not going to cause any damage. And this is hot. Go tip that in there. And then from there, uh, any dirt and dust will settle. But I'm going to have to do this up here near the camera because this camera hasn't got a very good zoom. And of course, I'm not worried about the dirt in this. Oh, a bit shaky as well. So there's the wax in there. Uh, the sustainer will hold the wick down and the connector will hold the wick up. So we've just got to let that uh, cool down. Ideally you're meant to let them cool down slowly, but that's not going to happen tonight because it's quite cold out. It's quite cold up here because you have a breath. Um, any dirt in there will settle to the bottom, as I found in previous candles. and. Um, give you a fairly good result. If you're practicing it doesn't matter so much and I consider myself to be practicing, trying it out. And um, that, is, that is the easiest way to make a candle. Uh, make a candle, any glass jar will do, any anything glass, anything Pyrex, uh, flower, uh, flower vases, small flower, flower vases, um, salt and pepper pots, things like that. Anything glass, clear, it doesn't have to be clear. Jam jars. Um, the list is endless. You just uh, just look look out there and you'll you'll see. Now I'm going to put that on a fl flat surface because uh, the workbench isn't actually uh, level. And um, now I'm going to show you what happens to wax if you boil it. And this 
this is why you never put hot wax on direct, well, this is why you don't put any wax on a direct heat. And uh, it does put off some fumes. What you hear there is just uh, the the water from the bottom of the pan. And you can see the smoke coming off. No, I didn't go. But you get you get the you get the point. That is acrid, thick acrid, horrible smoke. You don't really want to be breathing that in. But it will go up in flames if you if you let it. Um, We'll try it again. There you go, and that's the wax burning. And if you get that on yourself, uh, if you get that anywhere near you, that's, that's spitting and horrible and, and uh, yeah, you could be in a world of trouble if you get that all over you. So I'm just gonna let that burn out. And that's it. You can't stop it once it starts. Uh, am I gonna pay for that now? There you go, that's what happens to wax. You just set it on fire. I should have really had a fire extinguisher, but I, secretly I didn't. And there you have it, one candle. Now I left this out in the cold, and uh, just to show you what happens if the wax cools down too quickly, you get this uh, well effect. Um, if you let the wax cool down slowly, it will be nice, neat and perfect, but if you leave this out in the cold, or it cools down too quickly, you get these holes. Now, it won't affect this candle too much because it's, 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 uh, it's self-contained and it will just uh, burn down slowly. But um, if you were selling these or doing these for a commercial purpose, then, uh, it might put people off buying them. Anyway, so that's your candle. Trim the wick down to about 7 to 10 mil, and you'll be done. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment and rate and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.